Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and in this video I'll tell you how to create a game in Excel. Well, if you see I have created this slot machine game over here. If these three numbers, their average is greater than 5, then you will win, else you will lose. And if you win, you get 10 points and if you lose, you get minus 1. So let me make this point as 0 and show you how it works. See. As soon, since I won, I got 10 points. And since I've been losing recently, so for every loss, there is minus 1. Every time I click on play, these numbers change. The average is displayed over here, that this is the average. The result is displayed over here that I have lost. And here are the points. For every loss, this will be <coughs> deducted by 1. Isn't it cool? So I just won. I have 18 points now. As soon as I play the next one, I will get 10 more. So it's 28. How did I do it? Let me show you. But before that, if you want to download this sheet, you can go to myelesson.org and download that. All right. Now, for this section, what I did was I used the rand between formula. Let me show you. Is equal to rand between. And I chose numbers 0 to 9, 0, 9. I have explained the rand between formula in great detail in a separate video. The link of that video is also mentioned in the descriptions below. So what it does, it, uh, it gives you a random number between 0 to 9 or whatever lower or higher side number you put in. Correct? Same thing I did over here. And similarly, the same thing I did over here. All right? And then, how did I get these colors? Well, simple. Let me show you how. I calculate, I selected this range, went on merge and center, and gave a color from here. As simple as that. Easy, right? And then over here, I calculated the average. All right. This is just to tell the user, okay, what is the average of these? All right. So, how I did that is equal to average of this cell comma this cell comma this cell bracket close all right and from here i did conditional formatting and a formula to give you the loss and win how is equal to if i said this average this cell is greater than 5 comma then mention win all right else mention loss and for whenever there is a loss the color changes to pink and whenever there is a win the color changes to green see over here that I did from conditional formatting how I did was Say, example, I write win over here, okay? This cell, I'll show it to you over here. I went to conditional formatting. I went to highlight cell rules. I went to text that contains. And from here, I chose, if it is win, then you choose green color. Okay, correct. And if I mention loss, then I give a conditional formatting. Red, okay? It's mentioned over here. So if it is loss, it will be red. If it is win, it will be green. I did that with conditional formatting. And then I created this points section, which will calculate how many points you have won. Okay. How did I create that? That's important. For that, I went over here. And apply the formula if formula. Okay. And I put in the mathematics over here. If I said 
this cell is greater than 5 okay comma then it means that the person is winning he should get 10 points else he should get minus 1 okay this is the math you can change this math to suit whatever you want so if you want that all these three cells average should be greater than something or less than something whatever logic you want you can build that logic to arrive at a result all right now i created this play button i'll come to how this 28 is coming every time a uh, game is played so now i created the play button all right so whenever i click the play button these numbers change and whatever value is achieved over here is added or deducted from the points correct so to do this what i did was i simply clicked on a cell like this and i wrote a code over here okay how i wrote that code was i assigned it a macro i the code that i wrote was this one points and simple code see i gave the code a name points and it says cells 15 comma 12 that means row 15 column 12 this one so let me just reduce the size for you so row 15 this one column 12 is this one that Ah, now you should be able to see it. This cell is equal to the same cell plus the value in this cell. As simple as that. So, in the cells reference section, what happens? You have to give the row number and the column number. So, the row number of this cell, uh, this one is 15. And the column number is 12. So this cell is equal to whatever is here in this cell plus whatever is here in this cell. So the address of this cell is this one. 1, comma 1. Row 1, column 1. Correct? As simple as that. This is the only line of code that you have to write. This line of code is also written in the description also that is it so now i make it zero all right and now i run it now how did my code get linked to this button well simple i went to the developer tab i went to insert i inserted this button over here okay and linked it to this macro which I called as points. So if I press it, same thing happens. See, I right click it, I went on edit text and you give it a name. Isn't it simple? So this is how you create a slot machine game in Excel. I hope you like this video. Well, you don't forget to download this sheet from myelesson.org. And in case you like this video, do click on the thumbs up button. And if there is a question, please mention in the comments. And please, please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching once again. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy learning.